You have begun practicing new magical forms. Interesting. You seem to be drawing upon the raw substance of the Fade, likely using your mark as a catalyst. I use similar techniques, although it took me years to learn them. Why did you choose such an esoteric area of study? I saw the chance to gain more power. There seemed no reason not to take it. There are always reasons. Not every tool is an asset. Some are as much complication as benefit. Regardless, I hope these studies serve you well. Did you need anything else? I need to know more about Corypheus. You've taken his army. He lacks the conventional forces to take Orle. He must see Orle destroyed utterly by whatever means possible. Not merely thrown into chaos. We'll talk later. Goodbye. There are spirits hovering by the veil to observe the thrones of powerful nations. The machinations, betrayals. After our time in Halam Shirao, I understand why. I had forgotten how I missed court intrigue. I'm pleased you had a good time. Political gambits, broken promises, half-truths. It is a palace full of motivation, and motivation is where great things happen. In any event, Selene should now be a steadfast ally, especially after helping her neutralize Riala. I hope you know that I didn't turn over Briala lightly. If I'd had another option... What? Why would I disapprove of... Because we're both elves. I'm sorry, I was confused. I do not consider myself to have much in common with the elves. Nor should you. You're not defined by the shape of your ears. They're not your people. No, they are not. I joined the Inquisition to save the world. Regardless of who my people are, this was the best way to help them. As for the Elves of Orlais, Briala did what she could. She was an admirable woman, even if her gambit failed. Even if we couldn't help Briala, I hope we can make life better for Elysian Elves. Stop Corypheus. That will do for a start. It speaks well of you to feel for the oppressed. Help them for that. Know them for what they are, instead of just seeing a pair of pointed ears. Greetings. I'd be interested in hearing your opinions on elven culture. Perhaps you could ask Sarah. She has... opinions. You don't much care for Sarah, do you? I pity her. Although I imagine she would detest that. Perhaps in truth, I envy her. She has a purity of purpose that I lack. I have observed too much and done too little. What do you wish to know? I've heard tales that Dalish magic is different from the magic I learned in the Circle. No and yes. Magic is magic, just as water is water, but it can be used in different ways. Dalish magic is more practical, not needing Chantry approval, although they still frown on blood magic. Superstition. Much of it is more subtle. A legacy from when elves were immortal. Legends of elven immortality. Did they use magic to increase their lifespan? No. It was simply part of being elven. The subtle beauty of their magic was the effect, not the cause of their nature. Some spells took years to cast. Echoes would linger for centuries, harmonizing with new magic in an unending symphony. It must have been beautiful. You said that the censure against blood magic was a superstition. I did. It's fortunate Cassandra is not within earshot. Most modern cultures forbid blood magic. Publicly, even Devinda disapproves of it. 
But as I said, magic is magic. It matters only in how it is used. I'd be interested in learning more about blood magic. I would teach you if I knew it. Unfortunately, using blood magic seems to make it more difficult to enter the Fade. You understand why I never bothered to learn it. A shame, as it is extremely powerful. Provided it remains a tool, not a crutch, nor a passion. I'd like to know more about the elves from before our time. The Dalish strive to remember Halam Shiral. But Halam Shiral was merely a fumbling attempt to recreate a forgotten land. Arlathan. Alvanan was the empire, and Arlathan its greatest city. Place of magic and beauty, lost to time. You've studied ancient elves. What else do you know of Arlathan? We hear stories of them living in trees, and imagine wooden ramps or Dalish aravels. Imagine instead spires of crystal twining through the branches, palaces floating among the clouds. Imagine beings who lived forever, for whom magic was as natural as breathing. That is what was lost. What can you tell me about elves living in human cities? The culture in alienages or among the slaves of the Vinter is like any of the impoverished and powerless. They cling to memories of a better past, and practice a few rituals to distinguish themselves from humans. I'd like to know more about the Dalish elves. It is a mistake to think of the Dalish as a single group. They have lived as separate clans for centuries now. As a consequence, each clan has learned, interpreted, and forgotten different parts of elven history. Some trade freely with humans, or adopt city elves who flee the alienages. Others attack humans on sight. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Hello. I need to know more about Corypheus. He has lost his army, and he has lost Orle. That eliminates military or political means to rebuild the winter. He will need to demonstrate that no one in this world can stand against his magic. It will not be subtle. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Hello. I need to know more about Corypheus. He has lost his army, and he has lost Orle. That eliminates military or political means to rebuild the winter. He will need to demonstrate that no one in this world can stand against his magic. It will not be subtle. We'll talk. The Temple of Mathal sounds truly astounding. I would have liked to have seen it. What will you do with the power of the well once Corypheus is dead? I won't know the answer until Corypheus is defeated. Yet they are already asking you to answer. Restore the Chantry? Destroy the Chantry? If you do nothing, someone else will answer in your stead. Whatever you do, choose wisely. Forgive my melancholy. Corypheus has cost us much. The Temple of Methal did not deserve such a fate. The orb he carries, and its stolen power, that, at least, we may still recover. With luck, some of the past may yet survive. Thank you, Solus. We couldn't have done this without you. You are welcome. How can I help? We'll talk later. 